<coughs> okay, so look at this uh, example B. We look at your working. So when you try to substitute negative 1, it is 0, right? So this is 1 minus 1, also 0. So this is IDF. So the way to simplify the IDF form is multiply with this conjugate. So the conjugate occur on your numerator. The numerator here you got third, so your conjugate will be following this part. So your conjugate for this third will be 2 plus x plus 1. Square root of 2 plus x plus 1. Okay. Okay, so for denominator part, we'll remain in factor form. Meanwhile, for numerator, because it is conjugate, we simplify this conjugate part where a minus b times a plus b will equal to a square minus b square, where your a is your third, third 2 plus x. When it's square, you get 2 plus x minus b, b is 1. So b square is also 1. So simplify, we will get this one, two, uh, x plus 1, 2 minus 1, we get 1. Then we notice that it can be simplified with the factor at denominator. So finally, we can figure out this limit, substitute that negative 1 into the function. So we get 2 minus 1 plus 1, so this is This is 1 over 2. Okay, then we continue for question C. C also same, when we substitute, when we do the first trial, substitute 2 into the function, we get 0 over 0. So this is IDF also, means we have to simplify the function, multiply with its conjugate. So conjugate will be referring to the, the part of involving search. So the conjugate here will be third x plus two plus two. So write your notation limit. This is notation of the limit. Do you write it? I must say to this here. Then simplify this part. A minus B, A plus B, A square, B square. A square, get X plus 2. B square, you get 4. So, X minus 2. So, notice this set, we can factorize the negative from this factor so that you can get X minus 2. Then, this factor can be simplified, substitute the 2. 